Hi, I'm Dr. Michael James. I go by Luke, my middle name. I trained at Duke <clears throat> starting in 1999 in neurology and finished neurology residency and then trained in anesthesiology after that. After residency training, uh, I went into the lab to develop a preclinical model for a subtype of stroke. And so the vast majority of the time, I, I, um, I'm attempting to perform research in, in hemorrhagic stroke and, and translational research where we have both a preclinical um, lab that focuses on models of, of ICH. I don't know that you can well. I think you have to get used to a level of um, doing the best you can with, with all the variety of different things that you, that, that you might do. Um, it is, I think, one of the struggles is to be judged against people that only do one thing or another. So from a clinical point of view, you, you're often judged against your clinician colleagues. Um, and from a research point of view, you're, you're judged against your scientific colleagues. And if they don't perform clinical work or perform scientific work, it's, it's an unfair judgment, but it's, it's one that exists and you have to struggle and make your peace with it. So it's difficult to do at all and I um, certainly wouldn't recommend to people necessarily to do this. I think it's something that they just have to want to do and then they'll have to find the way that they that they balance it. I think it's an evolution over time of uh, during clinical training um, this idea of performing research and being academic um, versus you know being a clinician and, and, and um, uh, working in private practice. I don't think there's any one thing I could put my finger on that said, you know, this was the spark, this was the, the idea, this was the moment that, you know, I decided to, to be a, a researcher. I think, again, it, it's something, it's an idea, it's a, a thing that evolved over years to, to sort of bring me to where I am. My experience is that, that you must be resilient and um, there's a lot of um, rejection involved with, with research in terms of uh, writing grants and, and having them critiqued and um, writing manuscripts and having them critiqued and, and coming up with ideas that you might want to focus your research on and having that critiqued and focusing it down. So being resilient and persistent in, in, in what you want to accomplish, you know, what the ultimate goal is, is um, it can can be very motivating and important to, to keep you coming back after when you feel like nothing's working and, and things are falling apart. But you have to have a great team around you of, of, um, of uh, research infrastructure, your, your chair, your department have to be very supportive of your endeavors. Um, there are a lot of pieces that go into it and I think um, respect for, for that and understanding of, of how all those pieces may fit together to uh, move your career forward and move your ideas forward is, is important.